Wow. Wow. I'll tell you, man, it's almost like days of our lives right here. You know, the, the recent situations that have been going on uh, in football could not have happened to three better teams. And I'm going to break it down for you. First, the only team that matters, and by the way, which will be Super Bowl champions this year. I know I say it a lot, but I got faith in this team and I know what talent this team has. Sports Live and ATL, David here, sir. The Falcons will win the Super Bowl. I'm that. I'm confident. Not 100% confident, so don't come throwing these crazy bets. I already got some bets out there. That's enough. But I'm feeling pretty good that this team is capable. And we'll surprise a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, teams this year and a lot of fans. Because I know what, what we got. But look at, look, look at what we have here. We got the Yucks, the Panthers, and the Cheatriots. Better known as the New England Patriots. Now I'm going to break it down for y'all. And, and, and why I find this whole ring circus hilarious. First of all, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Sucker Queers, the Yuccaneers. The team that the Falcons have owned. I believe six of seven times we've beaten y'all. And the last time y'all won a Super Bowl, 2002-03, the Raiders. I know you got a Super Bowl, guys, so spare me with that. You can't, I, I mean, you could come back at that, but don't nobody care about a Super Bowl that's happened since 2003. What have y'all done since then? First of all, you've been the Falcons' kick toy. And this right here is another example of overhype. Remember the Eagles in 2010 or whatever it was, Nane Asimwal and all those guys? They were the dream team. So now the Buccaneers get old Tom Brady and Dancing Bear himself, uh, Mr. 24-7 WWE Gronkowski, and now all of a sudden the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneer bandwagoners are popping out. Your team is going to win the Super Bowl. Your team is going to win the NFC South. Sure, your team's going to be better because you can't be any worse than what y'all been. And until y'all prove me wrong, I don't care if you have God himself on your team. This team will own you and still owns you to this day. Okay? So Buccaneer fans, you guys are in for a rude awakening, a pipe dream, false hope. You're not going to win the NFC South. You might win a few more games. You might split with us. But what y'all want is a Super Bowl championship. I'm sorry. Brady... The greatest of all time, the GOAT, Gronkowski, is not going to do it for you. And I'm going to watch it. And uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers never have been relevant to me. Because we all know who I hate the most. Okay? But y'all are giving me a reason to laugh at y'all this year. Get comfy in the box because that's where you're going to be. Carolina Panthers. We all know that we own y'all. We've beaten y'all five straight times overall in the series. Neither one of us has won a Super Bowl. I get that. We both lost to the same teams. I get that. But how have those three NFC South divisional titles, the only team to ever win three straight divisional titles, and I think the only team that hasn't had back-to-back -back winning seasons yet? How, uh, how did that work out for you? Star quarterback on your team doesn't want to be there. He, he dresses like he's a drag queen. He's overrated. He doesn't know how to hold a, a press conference in defeat, only when they win. And now he's bolted your franchise. So you know what's going to happen now with the Panthers. They're going to continue to stink. We're going to beat you two more times. Make that seven straight wins that this team will have over yours. I'm just telling it like it is. Get comfortable. What used to be this team in the bottom is going to be your team right here. And this team right here, with all the, the, the excitement that you guys got going on with Brady and Gronkowski, y'all will be a third at best in the NFC South. The Panthers are going to overtake your spot for last. And I can't wait to see that happen. I can't wait to see the overhyped Bucks just play mediocre. And I can't wait to see the Panthers just continue to fall flat on their face. That's going to be great. Which brings me to right here. The Patriots. First of all, I love seeing Cam Newton, Scam Newton, go to New England. I called that on video and live stream months ago. I saw Tyson's video. That's why I titled it Funny to Me. Because I knew Tyson was going to come out and laugh at the Carolina Panthers. I knew that. Because I remember what Tyson did as a Super Cam gamer. 
when he trolled this fan base for a year. That was funny to me. Sure was. But you know what also is funny to me? The New England Patriots. Granted, the dynasty. Six Super Bowl championships. And, of course, you beat this team right here in that epic Super Bowl. So spare me with that because I'm letting you know now, yes, we blew that lead against this team right here, crushing as it was. Can't do anything about it. But, but, just because the Patriots got Scam Newton, that doesn't, that doesn't take away the fact of what's inevitable with that. Your dynasty is over. Cam Newton's overrated. I heard you say, Tyson, and other people uh, that uh, Bill Belichick's the best coach in football. He can, he can adapt to anything. You know, he might be a really, 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 really good coach, but what he's adapt to is cheating. Look at what look at what has been under the Patriots' umbrella. Spygate, deflating footballs, and now I, I believe if I read it right, with the Bengals, now y'all are fine. So y'all are known for cheating to win Super Bowls. Yes, the Falcons had that crowd noise. Didn't work out for us. So at least y'all cheat good. At least y'all are able to cheat to get the ring. I will say this, in that Super Bowl in 2016, Patriots did not cheat, in my opinion. I don't know if they have any footage. They, they just came back and beat us because our coaching staff, Kyle Shanahan, had no confidence and had no, had, had no ability to, to maintain a 28-3 lead. People say it was all rigged. No. The Patriots legitimately came back and beat us. I've never wavered on that. We just collapsed, and the Patriots took advantage. Now, the other ones, that remains to be seen. But all I'm saying is, the Patriots, you're in a division and have been in a division that has been weak for 15 years since y'all started. The Bills are on the rise. Cam Newton is not going to do much for you guys. Tyson said it best. He's got everything to gain, nothing to prove. I'm sorry, everything to prove. Wait, hold on. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Just like the Bucks, false hope. Patriots are not winning the Super Bowl, not with Cam Newton. The dude man can't even can't even jump on the football in the Super Bowl because he probably is afraid his nails are going to get broke or his hair is going to get messed up. You know, so it couldn't have had so the, the whole circus that this is right here, the three ring circus, is perfect because it's sports. And it gives me something to laugh at. This team is going to be overrated with, with Gronk and Brady. They aren't going to win the Super Bowl. This team right here is nowhere close to winning the Super Bowl and definitely will not win it now. And this team right here, as great as Bill Belichick is, cheats a hell of a lot to win. But the old saying is, if you're going to cheat, do it right. Because this team right here surely can't. Pumping crowd noise and can't win a Super Bowl. So, I had to make this... I can, I, the comments below are probably going to be funny, and I probably know some of y'all are going to act like I didn't say 28-3 to already. I didn't say we haven't won a Super Bowl, that we lost to the Patriots. I've already said that. But if you're going to state the fact that we blew a Super Bowl, the epic, to this team, who deserved it? Then you also need to come back and admit I'm right when I say the Patriots are cheaters. Bill Belichick is, is, is a god when it comes to cheating. That's also probably why he's able to win all these Super Bowls because he's smart enough to cheat right. Carolina Panthers, 0-2 in Super Bowls like us. We own them overall, head-to-head, -head, five straight. They're going to stink this year. The Bucks, we own them, Brady, Gronk, or not, six of seven. And they haven't won a Super Bowl since 3 So spare me the, oh, well, at least we won Super Bowls. Oh, that's all well and good, but this is 2020, and there will be a football season. So if you're going to admit the wrongdoings of the Falcons, then you need to admit the wrongdoings of all these three. Because this is a three-ring three ring circus, and I love it. But the fourth member of that circus, the king, is right here. Atlanta Falcons. How you doing? And that's funny to me. Yeah. <laughs>